Welcome all of you. You are watching Poland Daily Culture and we're going through movies because right now we talk about a new coming premiere of a movie about Wyszyński. He with us is Tadeusz Syka, a director and also producer of this movie. Thank you for your invitation and uh, I think that that movie is very special also because from the pro production perspective um, we cannot for forget about the military about Polish army, okay. which supports us very well. In exactly, that. because this one thing. So you were shooting this movie during the pandemic, after right, all. Right, right, so right. So it's not the easiest situation, because a lot of things were closed and shut down. So what, what role did like Polish army play in this? Oh, they, 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 they supported us with, from the security perspective, from the medical perspective, from the catering perspective, also from the music perspective, because uh, when Atanas Valkov, the composer, created music to that movie, we simply decided that we cannot create the movie about the military chaplain without the military unit band, right? And so it shows the very, very good power from that music. But going back to the topic, uh, so Polish Army support us a lot. And thanks for that. Because somehow I, I need to say that this is the miracle that we finished that movie during the pandemic time. Because we also had a COVID among our actors exactly at the shooting day. So it was very tough for us, very expensive for us. But we managed and finally we finished that movie. Perfect, congratulations to you. And coming back to the topic of music, Atanas Falkov as uh, your, I would say, author of the music, which of course he is right now, becoming one of the main authors for um, film music. He did it for one for The King, Krul, right. for the series, and also for Polish legends when it comes to Bagiński. A truly a very interesting um, musician. How, how does it sound, this music? How can you describe it, even though it's difficult? I think uh, that this music will add a lot of emotion, as it is in the normal way of the post-production process. But this will be very special music because we'll use the very old songs from the military program, uh, from the army program, and it will be mixed together with the modern music. So we'll hear some kind of the classic music, like the violence and so on, plus electronical music. So uh, this uh, two, let's say, uh, fronts, when we will combine together, it will give us a, a good power. So uh, if you will ask me to whom I, I can compare that music, I think that the closest um, artist will be John Williams. So uh, because we inspire, uh, inspire the music from the Saving Private Ryan, uh, we catch some scenes in the sunset with the, how the military units are walking through the fields and so on. So we all want to also show the military our itself in that movie, not only the chaplains, but how the young people behave and act in that times. So it's another movie about Warsaw Uprising, but from totally different perspective. Right. And also of a, uh, putting the story of Colonel Wyszyński in it and showing all the details of his young life, though he was 40 already there. So I would say grown up who needs um, maybe a, another vocation and another element in his, in his life. That's it, because during that time, during those 63 days, he simply find out what does it mean to forgive someone. Yeah, because through that movie, we, we will also find out why 20 years after the World War II in Vatican, he decided to send a letter to all of the bishops, especially German bishops, we forgive you. We forgive you, and this is unbelievable and now through that movie we understand why he done he did it is there any moment in the movie when they meet germans is there any moment of course of course uh, uh, did you have real germans <laughs> yes we had the real germans we had the real uniforms uh, guns and so on and cars but what i want to say that we'll show very tough moments um, when uh, Vyshinsky will be 
just opposite to the German side, uh, and he will meet uh, the very dangerous units, uh, Rona SS. He will meet uh, Wehrmacht. He will meet one of the very crazy colonel who uh, will visit the, the hospital. And um, we need to remember that Wyszynski, he knew very well German language. So he used that to save the people. And how it will be, you will see in the movie. Well, it's all very interesting, especially that in most of the movies um, about war, I would say the Germans don't, they're not personalized. They don't have a face. They, they are just out there shooting. But if you show a relation and a, a real living person and how they meet, and they, later, of course, I mean, being a priest, you kind of have to forgive, after all, those are people as well. And, but going through all of this needed to be, of course, a huge challenge for him because once they are enemy and then the, the war is won, Germans loses, the Nazi are done and you have to live on and you have to move on. You have to kind of That's go it. on. That's it. And this is the link for the modern viewers that we don't have a war right now. Right, and we need to understand the Vyshinsky and to take this from that movie to our daily life. Yeah, wow. He said, I forgive you after all of the suffering during the World War II. And we, we don't have a war, we are free people. And we, suppo we are supposed to forgive probably to some people as well uh, uh, among our life, right? Absolutely. So that's the message to which we pass to all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily. And again, we invite you on the 17th of September for a premiere of a movie about Cardinal Wyszynski. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily.